hi guys welcome to the youtube channel welcome to the coral draw youtube channel and if you are not subscribed please and please click on the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that anytime i drop a new video you're going to be the first to get notified i've discovered that um 90 95 percent of the people watching these videos are not subscribed so if you're not subscribed please um tap on the subscribe button and subscribe so welcome to today's video and Today we're going to be learning how to change the the color of a of or let's say the shirt color or the cloth color of a subject in Corel Draw. So you have um, pictures and maybe you want to change the color of the clothes that the person is wearing. So it's very easy on Corel Draw, and I'm going to be using these two pictures to illustrate that. So let's keep this one aside. Let's take this first picture. So <clears throat> the the trick here is to create a mask over this cloth and um, create a mask over it and intersect the image so that you get a version of this cloth and you manipulate that cloth. Because you try manipulating the whole image, if you are changing the color of the whole image, you are changing both the eyes, the mouth, the face, the hair, everything, and we don't want that. So, first things first, we take our pen tool. I usually use the pen tool for all this kind of uh, mask creation but i don't know if you have a, a tool that is better for you in terms of creating mask you can use that tool if you like so we'll do like this we'll start going as you can see i'll try and do this as fast as but I, i'm trying to make these um youtube videos as short as possible because since people don't like long videos so as you can see um actually i've not been posting much videos on youtube due to my my main computer was bad and it's still bad up to now it's it's damaged so i'm using a lower powered system to make this video so you might notice some some speed loss in in this i'm just still trying to make these video spots <coughs> The main system is bad as you can see okay let me do something so i'm going to convert this image to a bitmap first because it seems the the picture is too large for the computer as I see I'm using a lower power system so let's see if this one works better like this okay as you can see it works better so now I'm just trying to create the mask over the cloud as you can see oh sorry I made a mistake just the cloud so I'm just coming down here like this like so like so like so i advise you use a lower on uh, the the outline of the pen tool should be very low so that it will be more accurate so as you can see i'm just trying to be fast but you can do it as careful as possible so that you won't make mistakes so once you do this as you can see you do like this you come here you do like this you do like this you do like this and now you go and link link this to the starting point as you can see we're done <coughs> so this we, we created the mask so if you notice if we, i can also i can change the color of this but this is not what we're going to be doing so now make sure you help you highlight this mask created you hold down <clears throat> you hold down control and you click the other image so that you both of them be highlighted together or you can just highlight everything like this but just make sure both the mask and the main image are highlighted together so sorry it's shift you hold this one and press shift and click on the other one so not control so once both are highlighted you see this third option here this third option says intersect so all you have to do is just 
press intersect now this mask we created as you can see this is the mask we created we don't need it again all we have to do is delete it right now you will not notice any difference in the image but as you can see this is the mask we created that is on top of this image so all we have to do right now is go to bitmaps go to mode go to grayscale and turn it to grayscale as you can see go to bitmaps again convert <coughs> everything to bitmap and say okay now it's converted to bitmap now next thing i'm going to do is go to effects go to adjust go to image adjustments lab make sure this is on reset and now all you have to do is just tweak your colors till you get the perfect shade color that you like it's as simple as that if i need yellow i do this if i need something like this i do this if i need this kind of color just tweak around until you're satisfied as you can see i can have this color if i like so as you can see this is the new shirt color this is the old shirt color one more thing to do after you have done this you can click on the on the on the new shape creator as you can see this one click on that go to effects go to blur and add feather blur if you're using lower coral draw just look for feather blur and just add maybe a value of one or two and press ok and that's all i don't think we're going to be using this picture for today so the video will not be too long so as you can see i can also duplicate this one here and also still change this one to another color i just image as a lab let's see what we can change this to uh let's see if we can get something like um as you can see you can just tweak you can tweak these colors until you get something that you like as you can see just it's just a matter of tweaking everything okay, let's change something to blue as you can see we have this we have this and thanks for watching guys i would really love it if you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and um i have a lot of new series coming up and um if you have any issues you can comment down below you can also contact me personally on whatsapp and on telegram join the group on telegram join the group on whatsapp i'll link um everything in the description and see you in the next one